Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Remember this thing? Forget it. We're building a new, better version. So, what should we change? Great question. Top priority is cooling, cooling, cooling. For normal motors, torque depends on mainly two things. Current and volume. Big motor means more power. I mean torque. You get the idea. Since I limited the volume, we have to push more current. And of course, the upper limits are either core saturation and your windings turning into a toaster. Power losses scale with the square of the current. So, to get rid of the heat, we could use water cooling. Maybe even warm up your bathtub with this thing. To make this actually practical, I flip the magnets and coils so the coils now sit in the stator. And since that's already a huge redesign, why not redo everything? Fully housed, built-in linear rails, encoder, dust protection, and if I can squeeze it in, the entire drive circuitry. Now I've reached the stage where I have to start testing. I'm not fully done yet, and I could easily spend another week polishing and overthinking tiny details and procrastinate. But do you know who doesn't procrastinate? GLC CNC with their crazy fast turnaround. Today's sponsor. This project has a lot of custom parts. Bits that need to be spot on. And that's exactly why I'm working with GLC CNC. GLC CNC is your trusted CNC machining partner, offering fast, affordable, high precision custom parts for makers, engineers and businesses. Whether you're prototyping a single part or scaling up for production. JLC CNC helps you bring your ideas to life exactly the way you designed them. Their core advantages are simple. Fast, competitive price, custom made. That's JLC CNC. Whether you need one part or one thousand, JLC CNC gives you competitive pricing with no hidden setup fees. And because everything is made in their own facility, your parts ship factory direct. No delays, no middlemen. You can even track every step of your order in real time, from prototype to full batch production. JLC CNC can deliver custom CNC parts in as fast as three business days. They use advanced 3-axis, 4-axis and 5-axis CNC machines to ensure every detail matches your design. Choose from aluminum, brass, stainless steel and more, all top grade materials with inspections at every step. Dimensions, finishing, packaging. For this build, my parts are roughed clean, precise and ready to go. No rework, no sanding, no just a quick adjustment. Don't miss JLC CNC's special offer. Get 70 bucks in coupons and make your CNC custom parts starting at just one buck. Link is in the description. Go grab a coupon and start your next build. Many thanks to JLC CNC for sponsoring this video. JLC CNC, get your CNC custom parts starting at one buck. All right. Back to the project. Today we're focusing on the mover, and there's quite a bit going on here. The base is this part right here, machined by JLC CNC, and onto it I'm mounting a set of neodymium magnets in a halberd configuration. You might notice I'm using slimmer magnets for the vertical orientation, which leaves this little gap here. There's this neat thing in magnetism called reluctance. In a magnetic circuit, a movable piece of iron always shifts toward the position with the lowest magnetic energy. We can use that to squeeze out a bit more force per amp. I also want to experiment with skewing the magnets to smooth out the cogging forces. And because of that, I don't want to glue the magnets in yet. But I still somehow have to hold them in place. No matter what I do, they always pop off. Every. Single. Time. Anyway, for now let's focus on the dust cover. The plan is to use a 20 micrometer thin stainless steel foil and guide it underneath the mover using a set of rollers. I 3D printed these holders where the brass rollers and pins simply snap in and they mount directly to the mover. On top of that sits a small lip that scrapes off chips, dust, everything that shouldn't get into the housing. But before committing to the final assembly, let's test this idea. It somehow feels fundamentally wrong to make videos without doing at least a bit of milling. So let me quickly put together a mock-up of the stator assembly.
This approach was a total screw up. Yeah, I kinda saw this coming, but I wanted to try it anyway, just to see what would happen. It's hard to capture on camera, but the rollers are slipping way more than they are actually rolling, which is not great. But here's the thing, we can actually turn this problem into an advantage. Instead of relying on rollers at all, we can switch to a simple gliding block that instantly makes the whole construction way easier and a lot more reliable. By doing this, we can also increase the bending radius and make the curve much less aggressive. And that means we can use thicker stainless steel strips without worrying about them kinking. And instead of using one wide strip, we'll use two slim ones. This setup makes them much stiffer. Plus, we'll guide them over the mover instead of under it and add rubber cords to both hold the strips in place and seal them. So yeah, this attempt was a failure. But it definitely pushed us toward a better design. I'm confident that this will actually work. For now, I want to continue working on the stator, coils, commutation, cooling and testing the core. I'm really struggling to find the right material at the price I can actually afford. Even getting a pure iron block is turning out to be almost impossible. So, if you have any suggestions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Alright, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. See you! Thank you.